So we're here with Sonoplot. So who are you? So I'm Brad Larson. I'm the CEO of Sonoplot Incorporated, uh, and we're here exhibiting our microplotter systems. So uh, how old is Sonoplot? We're, we've been selling these products for roughly about seven years now, uh, and uh, I believe we've come to this show, I want to say four or five years. So what are we looking at here? So we're looking at one of our microplotter systems. Uh, these are systems that, like the name indicates, basically act like pen plotters but on the micro scale for dispensing liquid, dispensing uh, a variety of different electronic materials for uh, rapid prototyping, research R&D on uh, you know, a wide range of, of electronic materials. So does it look like this a little bit, what comes out? or? Yes, yeah, so that's an example of uh, printed nanometallic silver inks printed down onto a polyimid uh, substrate and then uh, in this case, photonically cured using one of Xenon's uh, photonic curing ovens. So what's going on here? So here we've got an example of uh, liquid being dispensed using one of our pen yeah. plotter systems, uh, but done so at, at the micro scale. So we've got a feed from the camera going and printing, uh, showing printing of 50 micron wide lines uh, of a nanometallic silver ink. Uh, and this is we're printing a, a sample electronic circuit here. Uh, this is slowed down significantly from what the speed the actual printer works at, but it's illustrating the, the fundamental printing principle of the, of the system. So where does this go? What is it for? Well, so it's for going and doing uh, rapid prototyping, research and development of electronic materials, uh, same day prototyping of a variety of different electronic circuits, uh, testing out a novel materials. Uh, so trying out things like printing carbon nanotubes, printing graphene, uh, some of the more exciting materials that are on the market right now. Does that mean you can put different materials in and they just print? Yes, it, it tends to be a very flexible system. Uh, it can handle everything that an inkjet printer can, plus a lot more viscous materials, materials that have uh, uh, larger particle sizes, as well as others that uh, might present problems for other printing technologies. All right, so what do you think about ID Tech X? It's been a great show for us. It, it, this is by far our best trade show of the year. Uh, and so, you know, for us, we always make sure to have a, a point of having a booth here because it, it provides tremendous return for us. Uh, printed electronics as a field has grown significantly in recent years, and it's one of the key markets for us. So it's, it's very important for us to, to have a presence at this show. So the printed electronics yes. business is going to be huge. What is going to be uh, like? Uh, is going to be disrupting existing stuff? Or is it going to be new things? It's it's hard to tell, but it, because it still seems like it's somewhat in the early stages. It's still developing as a market, but it's developing at a rapid pace. And it, by all indications, it looks like it has a bright future. Like that, this is going to be a, a significant technology in years going forward. Uh, you know, you have institutes like the U.S. Army putting a significant emphasis on printed electronics within their own division. So. Yeah, we see this as, as a potentially very large market yeah, coming forward.